Hi, I'm Jeff Schwartz of Schwartz Performance. This is our June 2016 update. I showed you this Mercury Cougar last month a little bit, and uh, we've completed the chassis installation here. Uh, the Coyote engine is in with the Boss intake, and we've just uh, completed mini tubbing it. We also modified the uh, long tube headers to fit this chassis, and uh, this thing should really make a good amount of power with the long tubes on there. Last month we talked about cars coming in here that the owner did bolt-on solutions and wasn't happy with the result. Well, here we've got another one, a 66 GTO for a full chassis swap and a tri-power fuel injection conversion. 68 Firebird convertible. This one's getting a Schwartz G Machine chassis and a 700 horsepower LSA engine. Last month I showed you that new product, the 55 to 59 Chevy pickup truck chassis. Well, here it is all powder coated with the uh, Schwartz Performance logo uh, bare calipers on there, 14 inchers and the full floater end. Everything's all assembled, just about ready to go to the customer after we take a few photos. The right hand drive 70 CUDA I've been showing you, 805 horsepower. You want to hear how it sounds? You gotta love the whine of a supercharged engine. 73 Cutlass 442. This is the other one that uh, bolt and suspension components didn't uh, work good enough. The chassis is all done. It's out for powder coating right now. When it comes back, we'll button this thing up and it'll be ready to rock and roll. And I know there's been a few people wondering about this 356 Porsche project where we're doing the 42 liter Audi V8 mid engine in it. Well, it's here. We were waiting for some Porsche specific parts. We've got those parts now and we'll be getting started on finishing up the chassis real soon. Well last month was pickup truck month. This month must be Porsche month. Uh, this is a 924 that we're converting to a 924 GTS replica. You can see we've got the bolt-on style flares back here. Incidentally, these took a lot of finesse and massaging to get them to fit this well, and we still got a little more to do. And then, as you can see, we got a fiberglass front end that has the venting in the front of the hood and the wider flared fenders. Uh, these also need a bit of massaging in order to get them to fit right. Uh, this one's not getting a chassis, nor is it getting an LS swap. Sorry, folks. Just a good old-fashioned Audi four-cylinder, which these engines came standard with. What's this, a silver 65 Pontiac Tempest? Yeah, it's our shop car, and we plasti dipped it, courtesy of Chicago Dipped. So it looks like it's a nice fresh paint job, but it's actually stuff you can peel off if you don't like the color. The 70 Chevelle that we're doing the LSA swap, here it is. It's come along quite nicely. We've got the engine in there, our uh, coolant tubes and air intake tube, radiator, uh, coolant tank for the uh, supercharger intercooler system, and uh, we're working on wiring right now. Another LS swap, this time a 56 Chevy. This one's getting a really cool sheet metal intake manifold along with some sheet metal fabricated valve covers, remotely mounted coils. We're putting a vintage air system in and smoothing the firewall. Simple upgrade and it's getting an automatic overdrive transmission instead of the four speed manual trans. So mama can drive the car just as well. Everyone knows I love big cars. 65 Impala, great car. This one's getting a chassis. 69 Camaro with a tucked bumper. Quite a lot of work involved in doing this. Don't try it at home. I've had people ask us, how do you figure this stuff out? Well, we have the help of uh, Brad here, as well as the uh, suspension analysis software that he's using. Uh, we also have a 3D uh, CAD system that we're uh, using to model our stuff. So. Uh, typical uh, modern technology uh, utilized in the manufacturing world. 